Honorable Flanagan. Mr. Flanagan. This is us blathering on in righteous tones about an issue, while at the same time the reality of what is actually happening on the same issue is the total opposite. Over eight years ago, Jonathan Sugarman resigned from the plum job of risk manager that he then held with Unicredit Bank Ireland. In his own words, I did that in order not to incriminate myself. Jonathan's job entailed checking and signing off on the liquidity of the bank at the end of each day's trading. What he says he found day after day was that the bank was short of that figure, not just by a few percentage points, but by up to 40 times the accepted margin. As per the law, he told the bank, told the regulator. The bank told him, shut up. The regulator ignored him. The central bank, when it eventually got around to an investigation of sorts, told him they couldn't guarantee neither his anonymity nor his immunity. Things are so bad he wasn't even called to give evidence at the recent, ba recent banking inquiry. We can talk all we want in here, but I await the day we actually do something about it when it's those who have had the whistle blown on them who have something to fear rather than those who blow that whistle. And Please, Chairman, while people are speaking here, can other people not be talking on the phone? Because it is the height of ignorance.